calling the matter of People versus Tanea Lewis. Uh, is the officer in charge here? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Uh, officer Sedell, please raise your right hand. You swear from testimony you're going to give us truth and nothing but the truth. I do, Your Honor. Very good. Is there a factual basis to establish the warrant? Your Honor, on 9-12-2018, at approximately 8-28 hours, officers responded to 23-200 Ryan Fitzgerald High School, room C-227, in reference to a stabbing. As the class was in tra transition, defendant approached the victim, placing or producing a straight-edged kitchen knife that she brought from home and stabbed the victim two times in the upper chest, one strike in her heart. Victim tried to flee from the defendant, with defendant chasing her around the classroom, defendant stabbed the victim one more time in the back, at which time the defendant, I'm sorry, the, uh, the victim fell to the floor. The defendant then stabbed uh, with a hammer fist punch, um, stabbed to the back, uh, which punctured her lung. The defendant was pushed from the classroom by the teacher. Uh, the defendant then tried to get around the teacher to get back in the classroom yelling, I'm going to kill her. Victim had no pulse and was pronounced dead at 09 24 hours at St. John's Oakland Hospital. Witnesses that said that the defendant was smiling and laughing as she was chasing the victim. Your Honor, we're asking for one count of um, murder in the first degree. How old was uh, uh, Tanea Lewis on the date of the crime? Miss uh, Lewis is uh, 17 years old. All right, very good. Based on the testimony of the officer, court does find there sufficient evidence to support one kind of a premeditated murder. I will sign that warrant. Thank you, Your Honor. Are you Tanea Lewis? Yes. Ms. Lewis, can you hear me okay? Yes. Ms. Lewis, you are before the court for an arraignment. Um, is there a representation on behalf of Ms. Lewis here? Yeah, please, the court, Mark Brown, appearing on behalf of Ms. Lewis, Your Honor. Very good. Yes. On behalf of the people? Your Honor, Prosecuting Attorney Eric Smith on behalf of the people. All right, today is the end time set for an arraignment. Mr. Uh, Smith, Mr. What's your name? Brown? Brown. Yeah, As sorry. the complaint warrant, we wait. Mr. Brown, have you had an opportunity to see the uh, charges? Yes, Your Honor. All right. As to the reading, uh, how do you want to proceed? We waive the formal reading, although, um, <coughs> we're, yes, and stand you. All right, very good. Ms. Lewis, um, you are some very serious charges you're facing. I will read the charges. You are charged with one count of first-degree murder homicide. Ms. Lewis, uh, allegations read as follows. On or about September 12, 2018, while in the city of Warren, you did deliberately with the intent to kill and with premeditation kill and murder one Dana Gibson. Ms. Lewis, do you understand the charge? I'm going to need you to verbalize that out loud, ma'am. Yes. All right. Did you, and if you are found guilty, <coughs> of this charge, you could face life without parole. However, I'm not sure. Is that correct, Mr. Smith? That is a potential, Your Honor. That is a potential, and um, Mr. Brown, you've discussed this with your client? Yes. All right. Ms. Lewis, you could potentially face life without parole. Do you understand that? Yes. And have you discussed that with your attorney? Yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Brown and Ms. Lewis, uh, you do have a right to a pretrial or probable cause conference in front of a judge within 14 days. We have set those days already. Have you gotten a copy of the date? I have not, Judge. All right. The first date will be on September 27, 2018 at 8.45. So will be in front of Judge Sabah. The second date is your probable cause hearing. It's where the prosecution uh, will have the opportunity to call witnesses to prove this probable cause that this crime com was committed, Ms. Lewis, and probable cause that you committed it. That is on October 4, 2018 at 8.45. Here's your uh, Thank you. dates for that, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Judge. All right. As to Bond, I'm going to hear from both sides on this matter. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Brown, you want to address Bond on your client? If the court would entertain Bond, um, certainly she is a, obviously the court, she's a high school student. Uh, it's my understanding her grade point average is uh, four point plus. Uh, she's supported by her family and friends. I'm not aware of any other um, criminal activity prior to this uh, particular incident. Um, I know that happened. Mr. Smith, on behalf of people. Your Honor, the defendant faces first degree murder, premeditated. Your Honor, the defendant faces the potential life in prison without parole. Despite, even given her age of 17, she could still face life in prison without parole. 
Your Honor, the victim in this case was a 16-year-old girl murdered inside of a high school. And that murder in a high school is the first in Macomb County history of a murder inside of any school in Macomb County. I think given all that, Your Honor, this defendant should not see the streets and should be locked up for the rest of this case. So we're asking for no bond. All right, there's a balancing act when considering bond. Um, I do recognize we have a 17-year-old here. She is, in the eyes of the court, an adult, and this is certainly an adult crime. Um, we really need to look at the protection of society, and um, I believe there were a bunch of witnesses to this, where this, when this happened in the classroom, as stated in the information. Do we know approximately how many witnesses? There's about 20, 20 to 25 witnesses, Your Honor. Um, and I know we've got a frightened community. We have frightened students in school. This was a senseless tragedy. Well, innocent until proven guilty, the court does feel that the state of Michigan will be safer um, if she remains incarcerated throughout uh, the remainder of <coughs> until she sees trial. So I am going to hold you, Ms. Lewis, without bond. Uh, the next court date will be on September 27th. We have those dates. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Your Honor.